like I told you, my, my, my life has been sort of a Cinderella story. And uh, this voice in my mind has always guided me. And I learned a long time ago to listen to this voice. Again, I wouldn't be here sitting next to Tony Khan if it wasn't for this voice that I like to call my destiny. And uh, when I heard that Ring of Honor was going on hiatus, I remember Lethal calling me after the meeting was over. And he said to me, I'm really upset with you. And I said, why? He goes, because on the Zoom call, you were the most calm person. It's because my destiny was talking to me. This is not a, a gimmick, this is real life for me. And my destiny was talking to me and it was telling me that everything was gonna be okay. I had no clue what was gonna happen, but I, I knew I had to keep honor alive. So I, I went around the world defending the Ring of Honor World Championship because I truly felt that something was gonna happen. And I was on tour in Ireland in my hotel room taking a nap and I get a phone call from Bandito and he tells me, hey amigo, do you know what's going on? I said, no, bro, I do not. And he tells me that Tony Khan purchased Ring of Honor. And that's when it hit me. My destiny was right. Honor will live on. And so I just keep <coughs> listening to this, this voice in my mind that has never steered me wrong. And I'm so very happy that the people after me, the next generation, will get a chance to enjoy Ring of Honor, but now on a bigger stage, on national television, hopefully. And um, I just want what happened to me to happen to other people. Uh, and just this company, the men that fought for this belt, the fingerprints that won this championship. It just means so much to me. So I, I, I want to thank you. I haven't gotten a chance to thank you for buying Ring of Honor and keeping it alive. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, champ.